How's it going, Collierville families? Mario Hogue here with the Communications Department. I'm in the special school, Schilling Farms Elementary, and I have a special guest, Dr. Cleese. How, how's it going? It is going well. We are so excited. We cannot wait to see our kiddos on Monday. Fantastic. So we're here today. We really just want to give our families a behind the scenes look at what is actually going to take place this school year and really what we have done to be proactive so that we can open our doors on Monday, August 17th. So as you know, Dr. Prince, we closed our schools on in March of uh, yes. 2020, which yes. was, was terrible. And how many days has it been since we haven't seen our kids? At least 157 right. is, is what we've kind of landed on. Well, and that's a long time to not time. not see, touch, or talk to our kids. That's that's we, we go into the business of education to impact children, and having that uh, that that window gap that is, connection, yes, is, is tough. So, what have we done at Schilling Farms to open our schools up next Monday? Well, what we have done, we have been extremely uh, particular about the the faculty that we have so that they're ready and have been trained with open arms and know how to take care of them in class environments. They've been very particular in um, paring down the um, things that they have in the classroom right. so that we can make sure students are appropriately socially distanced. Okay. They have taped off areas on the floor so kiddos have time to get up and move around and just be kids, you right. know with being safe right. first. Trying to make it as normal as possible, still following the guidance uh, of, of COVID-19. Absolutely, and, and absolutely. Trying to mitigate the spread. So uh, families, as you guys know, the cloth mask, these right here, are a requirement across the school district. Mm -hmm. So what does the mask break look like at Schilling Farms? Well, that's a great question. The mask break at Schilling Farms looks like if a student is sitting at their desk and they're going to have water bottles because, of course, we're not going to use the water fountain, so we have the touchless water bo water um, bottle refillers. Yep. Yes. So when they're sitting in class and they want to get a sip of water from their water bottle, they can just take their mask off, get a little sip of water, yep. put their mask back on. Okay. Okay. The important things are for them to have their masks on when they're transitioning in the hallways. Yep because you might be a little bit closer to people at that time. Of course, they'll take their masks off from lunch. Yep. And then when they go out to recess, they're gonna take their masks off. Okay. So um, we'll have some little bags for them to either be able to put their masks in, um, to keep key. them separate so that they don't have to you know, worry about the med yep. at, at recess. So you brought up two really important things. What does lunch look like this year at Schilling Farms? Lunch is, of course, it's gonna be yummy. Right, and the kids course. are going to have an opportunity to talk to each other, but it will look a little bit different. Lunch will be in the classrooms, okay. and what we're going to do at that time, we're going to try to work for where our um, teachers can still have a little a little break during that time. Gotcha. So we'll get some coverage for them with our teacher's assistance to be able to go in. The students will order their lunch in the, in the, in the morning and tell what they want. If they want something from the cafeteria, it'll be brought to the room will be dispersed and then we'll clean up, wipe down tables, and get started again for the rest of the day. Okay. So another really big piece of, of school mm -hmm. is recess. What is recess going to look like? A recess is really going to be kind of kind of fun. It's going to be different. Maybe no balls or hula hoops or on the um, playground equipment, but we are going to have some things painted outside on okay. our on our on our grounds yep. so that students can play hopscotch, they can um, write with the chalk, um, have their own little bag of supplies and fun things that they can work on and do outside. We've got um, their hand games and, and, and things that they can play. Also, our PE department is working with our uh, teachers so that they will have some different activities and, and exercise types of things that students can do individually, gotcha. but it's still fun. Right, so we're, we're still, going to be outside, still going to be active, yes. still going to be mobile, yes. Yes. we're going to be mindful and cautious Absolutely. of that six feet and, and what that social distancing looks like. So some really good things. Uh, what is happening with the custodial team? You know, mitigating the spread really relies heavily on disinfecting and, and really being mindful of cleaning the surfaces. So what are we doing with our custodial team? What we're doing with our custodial team is, um, of course, we all have plant managers who are here with us. We also have a company. Um, who comes in to clean. And what they have provided us with, they provided us with at least one person in a particular color shirt gotcha. that goes around and their sole job is wiping down surfaces. Wow. And I've had somebody to come in my office today at least twice. 
That's awesome. Again, at, at Schilling Farms, they are being proactive. They are working hard so that our families and their children feel comfortable and confident that they are coming to school and we are doing our best ability to mitigate the spread of the virus. As we continue to fine tune, we, we are constantly saying this is a very fluid, fluid environment. We are thankful for your patience and really working with us as we navigate these new territories. Is there anything else that you'd like to, to say before we, we end today? I just want to thank parents for entrusting us with your kiddos. And we know that they are your most valuable um, valuable thing ever, you know, our children are. And we are just so very, very grateful to have them. We are excited, we have missed them, and we cannot wait to have them back in our building. Fantastic. Dr. Cleves, thank you for being with us. You are a big part of this, this school system. Your, your staff, your students, and their families love you. Thank you again for uh, allowing us the time to be with you. Again, we open our doors to our students on Monday, August 17th. We are so excited and we just can't wait to welcome you back. Have a wonderful weekend. Take care, guys.